There used to be an old saying, and it goes a little something like this. Age should bring about a change. And the key word there is the word should. Because in theory, age should bring about a change. You wouldn't expect a person making the same mistakes in their 30s that they did when they were 20. But unfortunately, as we know, people tend to follow this sort of disappointment. And every year we see the same person making the same mistakes in their later years that they've always made in their prime. And there is nobody more identifiable than this than our girl, Brittany Renner. You see at age 31, she was supposed to learn from her mistakes. And she's even mentioned that before. I didn't understand my value and they were just mirroring back that lack of knowing. Yeah. I can't blame them for taking advantage. It was like, I marked myself for clearance and it was me trying to connect. Mm. Like sex is better when there's meaning, when there's substance, when there's an understanding, when you have to work for it. Like, what are we doing? Mm. Sex without love or some type of bond is just exercise, you know? And when I took a step back and really started asking myself like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. I was like, okay, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't feel good. How can I change this? Mm. So that really was for me like an eye opener, just not feeling good about myself after. And how, how did you change it? Or how will you change it? I've been on strikes since October. And the reason why she is saying that is because she now knows her quote unquote worth. That means the things that she used to do, she won't do no more. Sounds almost like born again Christians, right? But no, 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 that is not Brittany Renner. In fact, if we were talking about being in the church, we would consider her a backslider. And that is a person who is supposed to be doing one thing, but because of their nature, they always slide back into what they used to do. And that was evident when Brittany Renner got drunk on this podcast a few weeks ago and said this. Oh, Wait a minute. I did nothing for that. Oh, that's oh, no, 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 Miss Renner, Miss Miss Renner, Miss Renner. All right, chill, 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 chill. There's a lot of equipment in here. Yeah, Why'd you get water poured on you? What happened? The stream is now for just for for fucking yeah, yeah, private. Yeah, Put it private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We done got wet. Yeah. What What did you do to get water poured on you? I was just being myself, player. Okay. <laughs> Man, fucking soft. Ma'am, I did nothing but bless you. I called you nothing but ma'am <laughs> and Miss <Ms>. Brenner. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, shit. Shut Yo. up. Shut the fuck up when I'm talking. That's peripheral. Shut up. That's peripheral. Seriously, shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Because if you ever felt real love to where you have a motherfucking second degree tear, mm. hello? Mm. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he didn't mean it. <laughs> hello? He didn't mean it. And that podcast was called The Danza Podcast and she trended all over the internet for about a week straight. But then there's some more information. There is the fan bus interview that she's done. And oh boy, you got to hear this self-destruction. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is Brittany Renner in her use of condoms. And what does she feel about using condoms? So Sexy Red says that she always raw dogs. She's like the raw dog queen, apparently. Okay. How do you feel about raw dogging? I would prefer, you know, sushi gang. Okay. Yeah. But what comes with that? Mm -hmm. Is it really worth it? Potential STDs, your pH balance, your BV. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, but no, I mean, I hate condoms. I don't hate when my... It was like rubber. It's just like, oof. like grow up. You know what I mean? I don't know, but I should probably start using them more when I do have. To. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about somebody calling themselves the raw dog queen? I don't really like. I'm mean, gonna be honest. I just focus on what I have going on. Now that's interesting because. Just a while ago, she said she was celibate, but she doesn't want to use condoms now. And it's crazy because Brittany Renner has even talked about athletes who are stupid and don't use condoms. 
But here she is as a 31 year old single mother admitting that she needs to use condoms more. But wait a minute, let's talk about reckless sex. In this clip, you're gonna hear her admit to the fact that some guy that she just recently dealt with made her you know what eight times and his D wasn't even that big. I've always had this thing in my mind that it's like he has to have a big, big, maybe with a little curve, something. And, and I'm not gonna say he's small, but when I saw it, I was kind of like, oh my God, like what is he even gonna do with this? Right. And literally he made me like eight times. And I didn't even know my body could do that. I'm talking like back to back to back. And I was just like, what's going on? So now I have a totally different <laughs> appreciation mm -hmm. because it was almost like it was just enough to hit where it needed, it needed to hit. Mm -hmm. So this whole time I've been, it's been a lie that I needed some Lysol can to just respectfully put me through the mattress. Right. So yeah. That was easily one of like the best experiences I've ever had. Yeah, we're not talking though. But I was about to say, would you smash him again? I'd love to, but I'm falling in love with him. I'm like, I can't keep, I can't have him. I went with him once. Wow. Yeah, if um, he's watching this, I hate you. But I love you. In the best way. <laughs> you see, it's interesting. She can have all of this great SEX with this person, but you know, they can't ever develop into a real relationship, although she seems to like this person. But why is that? <laughs> it's probably because Brittany Renner is just really messed up. And that is evident from everything that we're talking about, and she isn't the only person. But there's actually more to this story. She recently also talked about what kind of, you know, you know what she would take in her mouth. <laughs> Let's just play that clip. Do you think that size matters when you're giving him? What do you mean? Like in what way? Like the size matters when you're giving him. Like if it's too big of a too much. Well, yeah, because there's only going to be so much you can do. Like if it's super thick and your mouth is like stretched, you know, it's like, babe, I'm only going to put about that much in there. Like, I don't know how you want me to, you know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd rather be able to Houdini a then it'd be so thick and then my mouth be stretched out like the corners. Yeah, I'd rather just <laughs> hole and you can't see anything. I prefer that size over that right. big one. Cause that I'm size. only going down about maybe this far. I'm, I have like terrible reflexes. When I'm brushing my tongue, I'm like, <laughs> in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> so, and don't like, I've heard girls talk about too, like, yeah, like making you like throw up on the inside. No, I hate throwing up. I'm, get your hand off my head. And it's interesting because the person conducting this interview has no respect for Brittany Renner whatsoever. And that is very telling because according to the person that's there, she doesn't have anything else to offer but the sexual exploitation sort of questions. And that is exactly why she asked her about twerking on Charleston White. <laughs> when that that type of stuff happens or just going viral. I don't, like I'm off my phone. I'm not reading comments. I'm not looking at anybody. I don't want to see it. Mm -hmm. I just let it do what it's going to do. And I just go about my day. So like what people say or what they were saying, or even you're saying that I, I was trending on, all of that is, is news to me. So really? yeah, so I don't read any of that stuff. Mm -mm. Okay. So you don't even know when you're trending, when you go viral, that kind of thing? Well, the only reason I even kind of knew about the the stuff with Charleston is because someone had texted me a video. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I woke up, I was like, ah, you know, like it's a regular day. <laughs> I'm like, man, like I got drunk last night. Check my text messages and I'm like, oh my God. Like, I'm like, when the f did that happen? So um, I had no memory of that happening, so. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I was like, oh, yeah, I'm off. I'm off uh, social media today. Okay. You see, the reality is Brittany Renner is living a reckless lifestyle. That lifestyle is not conducive for any man that wants to be in a really serious relationship. It just wouldn't make any sense. As a man, you would get nothing from it. And so she's going around talking about she knows her worth. But unfortunately, I have to say that a lot of ladies go around saying they know their worth but their lifestyle 
is not worth respecting the way they carry themselves. And I mean, to a man that's serious, you may know your worth or say you know your worth, but your behavioral patterns and what you do every day, it pretty much communicates to a man that you're not really worth what you think you are. And that is exactly why when somebody, you know, interviews Brittany Renner, they don't take her seriously. It's all about the fact that she's a, you know, fun girl and, you know, it's all about her sexual exploits and to get to know her, you know, personally as to what she can offer to the world, nobody even cares to know about that or they don't believe that she can do it. And that is going to be a lot of ladies out here who are misjudging themselves in the dating market because what you're showing the world is actually much different than what somebody conceives that you can do. And if you want to be taken seriously, you can't go around acting like Brittany Renner because you just never will. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. <laughs>